What's up guys, Jason here. In this video I'm going to be teaching you useful facts about animals in Minecraft. The first animal I'm going to tell you all some facts about are llamas. Llamas can be found in savannah biomes. To tame a llama, you need to ride it until it shows hearts. By the way, if the llama kicks you off at first, just ride it again. You can put a carpet and a chest on a tamed llama. As you guys can see there, putting a chest on a llama will give you some inventory slots. By the way, different llamas can have different numbers of inventory slots. As you guys can see here, this llama has more inventory slots than the other one. You can control a llama by attaching a lead to it. Whenever you are controlling a tamed llama with a lead, other tamed llamas nearby will follow it. This can be useful if you want to transport a lot of items. A maximum of 9 tamed llamas can follow the tamed llama that you are controlling with the lead. This next animal I'm going to tell you all some facts about are camels. Camels can be found in desert villages. You can ride camels by using a saddle. By the way, two players can ride a camel at the same time. One cool thing about camels is that they can sprint. Sprinting can be useful for going over holes. Another cool thing about camels is that zombies and husks cannot attack you while you are riding them. If a camel loses health, you can heal it by feeding it cactus. The next animal I'm going to tell you all some facts about are wolves. Wolves can be found in taiga or forest biomes. To tame a wolf, feed it some bones. As you guys can see there, once the wolf has been tamed, it will have a red collar. The wolf will now follow you. If you want your tamed wolf to stop following you, you can make it sit. Whenever you want it to follow you again, you can make it stand. By the way, you can change the color of the wolf's color by using any dye. Wolves will help fight most mobs that you attack. They will also fight most mobs that attack you. The amount of health your wolf has is shown by its tail. If its tail is low, that means that it is low health. You can heal a tamed wolf by feeding it meat. As you guys can see there, when the wolf has more health, its tail will be high. The next animal I'm going to tell you all some facts about are cats. Cats can be found in villages. To tame a cat, first hold some raw cod or raw salmon. Make sure you stand still so it does not run away. Then feed the cat some fish. As you guys can see there, it will eventually be tamed. You can tell it is tamed because it will have a red collar. Whenever it is standing, it will now follow you around. If you want it to stop following you, you can make it sit. Whenever you want a cat to follow you again, you can make it stand. Cats can be used to scare away creepers. Cats also scare away phantoms. You can heal your cat by feeding it raw fish. The next animal I'm going to talk about are mushrooms. Mushrooms can be found at mushroom field biomes. Whenever you use a bull in a mushroom, it will give you mushroom stew. This can be an easy way to get a lot of food. As you guys can see here, that mushroom allowed me to quickly and easily get all this mushroom stew. The next animal I'm going to tell you all some facts about are donkeys. 
Donkeys can be found in plains biomes. To tame a donkey, ride it until it shows hearts. To control a donkey, attach a saddle to it. If you want the donkey to be able to carry items, you can attach a chest to it. As you guys can see here, it will get these inventory slots. Donkeys can be useful for transporting a lot of items. If your donkey ever loses health, you can heal it by feeding it wheat or hay bales. This next animal I'm going to tell you all some facts about are mules. To get a mule, you will first need to tame a horse and a donkey. To tame a horse, ride it until it shows hearts. To tame a donkey, also just ride it until it shows hearts. Once you have tamed a horse and a donkey, breed them using golden apples or golden carrots. As you guys can see there, that will create a mule. You can wait for the meal to grow up naturally, or you can feed it wheat to speed up its growth process. To tame a meal, ride it until it shows hearts. You can control it by using a saddle. You can attach a chest to a mule. As you guys can see there, it has a bunch of inventory slots. This can be useful for transporting a lot of items. By the way, mules are better than donkeys because they can jump higher and run faster. If your mule ever loses health, you can heal it by feeding it wheat or hay bales. By the way, hay bales heal a lot more health than wheat. The next animal I'm going to tell you all about are axolotls. Axolotls can be found in lush caves. You can catch axolotls by using a bucket of water. Whenever you want to release the axolotl, you can place it down. Axolotls fight certain aquatic mobs such as drowns and guardians. If they take damage, they can play dead and regenerate. If you help an axolotl kill a mob that it is fighting, you will get regeneration. I hope you enjoyed learning these facts about animals in Minecraft. Please like, comment, subscribe, and check out other Minecraft videos. Thanks for watching.